guys, about to kick off day three. Back at the farm. Got a little help today. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna rip shit up today, man. Um We're both gonna video today, maybe do a collab for this third one. He's gonna take my SD card home tonight and make two a video out of it for my day one and day two. But uh yeah, we're going to get started and tear it up. See you on the first hole. All right, gang, you know how I am about me musket balls. Here's a small pistol shot. Pretty cool. All right. That's it. <laughs> we'll get back to you. All right, guys, so I start digging this hole, and Jerry goes, hey, that's a good area to be in. I just found some buttons. So, I don't know if you can see it. Where'd I go? Right there, right above my fingertip. <sighs> Ooh, nice button. That's one of the agricultures. An agriculture button. I don't, the whole shirt was lost down here. It, it must have been. 1800s, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Look at that. I don't want to uh, finger it too much and uh, lose anything. You can see that green patina. That's the kind of stuff that can come off pretty easy. So I'm going to stop playing with it. Put it away and uh, dig some friends for it. So, pretty cool piece of JR's family's history. Get back to ya. Something fancy on it. Oh, yeah? It says something on the front. Oh, I see. Dude, hold on. Don't put your hand there. You know what it says? Uh-uh. Let me see it again. Joe Mama. <laughs> kind of rotted away, but... <laughs> Why aren't you laughing with me? I can't get it. Wait, you know what? Let me see something real quick, buddy. That rang up a four. Really low. Oh, yeah. E E B B herb maybe e, no, something ebb jeb i don't know that's going to be interesting to see what you get off that because there is some writing on yeah and i can't tell if that's a maker's mark or something someone stamped good job brother let me clean out this hole the house and i'm walking over here by the creek and uh as you can see all kinds of pottery and uh ceramic and all that good stuff oh a bottle nice huh? i found an old bottle look at that guys really what I threw back yesterday. <laughs> if you did Dr. Thompson's. Eye water. Oh, I hope it, I hope you didn't throw this back in, buddy. And to be honest, guys, I see something else over there. Well, that was very productive. 
There you go, guys. That is an 1800s, early 1900s medicine bottle. Love it. Can't get no better than that. Wow. I'll take it. Get back to you. Guys, digging through a bunch of dirt and junk here. And I just got this. And, oh, it's hold. It's huge. Let's see. I don't want to. I don't want to mess with it too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the Q-tip out, scratch this guy off, and see what it is. It's huge. I don't know if it's a coin. Cow tag, maybe. We're going to find out, though. Let me get right back to you guys. That's awesome. That was with some nails and some other stuff, and then this good copper signal came, kept popping up, and I didn't give up. Yeah, guys, if you have a good signal with, with anything, really, um, and you're in there and you pull a nail out, don't just fill your hole back up because um, if you did your job right, then there should be something in there for you. So I'm going to scrape scrape this off. I'm going to try to get some detail out of this and let you guys know. Get right back to you. Come over here and show JR what I found. I think it says water pump. You'll see. I think it says water pump. Like maybe. ATR yeah. air pump. AIR pump. Okay. Yep. Yep. It's an old air pump tag. Cool. It's a cool relic. Well, when I saw that disc come out, I got excited. This used to be the well. Yeah, I figured. There was a... Now, there, there was a trough on this side, I believe, where the water would come in, where they would scoop up in buckets. And I, I think there used to be, like, a roof over top of it. Oh, okay. But they had no running water and no electricity in this house. Never. Never. <laughs> no shit. Yep. Well, like I was saying in the intro, uh, the one thing that you can tell with this house that they did have was an abundance of love and kids because oh, yeah. there's you just see all that activity is everywhere like these people were not hurting you know what i mean like in the sense that they had they're like the waltons yeah you know what i mean they had everything they needed yep they farm for a living were they rosses no they were allen ball and treases and uh i believe one of them was a uh, boonie. Well, I am going to go back to digging, and then uh, hopefully we'll have some more. Oh, oh, where's that? Where's that buckle? I got a lot of buttons out of that creek. A lot of buttons. Yeah, I ain't walking in that. No, you scared me. Oh. Well, just stay out of that. Pit right that. there. See that where that mud's up? That's yeah. Where I went in. Yeah, I know. Into my way. But you know what? On the other side, it's a little soggy too, because I just tried it a little that's a nice buckle but i walked everywhere else everywhere else seems good what else you got a little pencil sharpener really oh shit that's awesome there you go buddy I so hey there's stuff here yeah, still i found stuff everywhere so i got a feeling you're gonna find stuff here as long as you can i zigzagged all through there found ball buttons regular buttons pieces of clocks all kinds of shit i mean there's shit everywhere i'm just i'm really sure there's a concentrate on the creek today are you but you're welcome at anywhere it's clean out through the road and on the other side of the road there's a pasture it goes down that way about half a mile it's all this land well you'll know when i got the gold coin because you'll just see me going <laughs> you know <laughs> I, I come in here with a saw and clean all this up and get in there sometime. i'll help you without a doubt i'll help you do whatever you need here yeah this is gonna be a cool project I have the uh, shadow boxes too, big shadow boxes that I'll give you if you want to make them. I eventually want to clean this all up. I'd love to restore this place. That'd be awesome. That would be. It's a beautiful place. What it could be. Well, yeah, you like the location's beautiful. The roof's still good, so everything inside just needs to be gutted. It has a solid foundation yet. I can't wait to get in there and see what the heck it looks like. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah. It's a good day guys we're finding stuff good camaraderie i was a little bit down today uh 
you know, I had some bad news with a relative of mine and they're not gonna, they're not doing well. And, you know, JR once again, won't let me sit at home and wallow in my own pity. So come on, come hunt with me. And uh, so here I am and I'm feeling a lot better. I really am. It makes a difference. All right, here we go. Get back to you. Or just got a little pooter button and told me to join him in the creek. That's a pretty one. Yes. Cuff. Yes, a little shank on it. A little shank eponymous. A little smashed. That's all right. That little concave pewter. Nice. Very good, brother. Very good. How many buttons do you think? Are you up to 20 buttons or plus? Uh, 20 least. plus? There's 20 plus. In I've it. never been to an area like that. I am going to come back down to the creek and try. Yeah, I found at least 10 in one spot Jeez, that's crazy. there was a big rock and i flipped it over and i mean they were just all over the top and in the sides of the cracks so they must have been tell, must tell have been. me that's going to be some of the footage i'm putting together oh yeah okay yeah. okay can't wait to bring that to you guys all right we'll get back to you i dug like five of them and then i finally started filming them because I, I didn't want to be pulling it out <laughs> the buttons All right, guys, I just dug this up. One of JR's ancestors was cutting some trees out here. And uh, that's well used. So we'll see if he wants that then. I think that would be a nice little artifact for his home. If not, I'll take it. Pretty, pretty cool. It's intact, too. Look at the iron. Like, you know, I don't think that's... Anywhere near modern. I mean, it's not colonial or anything by any stretch, but, you know, late 1800s, early 1900s. Pretty cool. Get back to you. Guys, just a quick surface find. And that goes to a hurricane lamp, I'm assuming. Maybe not. Nice! Nice! JR just found a buffalo nickel. Hey! It's a lamp. Huh? It's a lamp. A lamp. Lamp. Cool. He's like, cool. <laughs> yeah, that's neat. My guess is it went to a glass hurricane. I could be wrong. 1946. What year? That's what I got the other week. Really? Yeah. Really? Nice job, brother. Yeah. So this place is pretty damn cool. I'll tell you that. I'm taking this with me. I don't care. It's either that or it's a carburetor piece or some shit. That's all I can think. But I think it's a... Well, now I don't know what the hell to think. It looked like a lamp, but now that I'm looking, I don't see anywhere for the uh, wick. So, I don't know what the hell it is, guys. If anyone knows, let me know. I'm going to let it sit here on a nice rock and get, get a little more patina. Yeah, let me know. If anyone of you guys knows, let me know. Get back to you.